I just quit my job because of my walking problem. I cannot walk too far. I cannot stand too long because it starts to have the swelling of the leg uh, and then like bit ridden at home. My name is Emily. I always tell people name I may leave. <laughs> I have this surgery did already. Then I got post surgery test. Uh. They detect I got some heart problem uh, or postponed. Uh. I start to feel I don't want to go for any more further tests. Already. Also, uh, home, there is no one at home. My friend told me they have some uh, event for those elderly. So I go to Google, then I search the name. Then I saw the community services provided here. Before I come to the centre, I was always at home. Emily is the life of the party in this hub. She is very cheerful, she's very bubbly, and she's not afraid to be herself. Emily loves to learn and uh, she's very enthusiastic. Passing my time to make all this art and craft thing, uh, it, it really helps me to think away uh, from my health problem. Uh. I think she has found a new life <laughs> creating coasters and using crochet and all that. So, so I think all these things, I think they are more than just a distraction. I think it helps to give her another reason to keep living another day. Volunteering, well, actually I have no intention of volunteering, but then don't know, end up with don't know where, I start to do it, you know. We noticed that hey, she's also really good at arts and crafts, so we encourage her, we nudge her out of her comfort zone. And uh, Dennis asked me, uh, then I said, I think about it. So that's when she started doing our paper flower crafts for the seniors. For this teacher, Emily, she will explain clearly and then how to do it, she demonstrates. She's very patient and then she takes her time to guide us through step by step. Whatever we teach her in the beginning last year and then now she put it in, into practice and now she's volunteering herself. And that's our purpose, you see, so that the seniors, whatever we teach the seniors, they are able to bring it up and willing to share with other seniors. So I'm, I'm really very glad that she volunteered herself. Mm. To me, I'm teaching them as a normal friend like that. I, I don't feel that I'm teaching them. I'm helping them. I, I feel good. Lah. I feel very happy. I like a flower bloom really. <laughs> I think something unique about our silver care volunteers is a large pool of them are either they can work flexible hours or they are semi-retired or fully retired. And so because of the uniqueness of this group, I feel that when they step up, it is a testimony in itself. You know, and I think it's inspiring for the community seniors to see that age is just a number. And, and at any age, we can use whatever knowledge and skills that we have to contribute back to the community. If somebody, someone approached me and said, uh, Emily, I uh, was asked to volunteer to, I said, I will ask them, go ahead. Why not? You can help others. Why you stay at home? Oftentimes, I think media portrays aging as a very negative experience, but there is a way to age graciously, there is a way to age well. That's why we want to make sure they're connected and make sure they feel fulfilled. And then they have a sense of hope and a sense of purpose. So I think that's why it's important that we provide an environment, platforms and opportunities for them to see that, yeah, aging is not all bad. I walk like a penguin, doesn't matter. Walk like a gorilla, doesn't matter. As long as I walk, 